housing market is gonna crash foreclosure crisis is coming watch out a lot of YouTube videos are sharing that right now and it's great for clicks, views, it gets people's attention, but I don't believe it's true and here's why. So a key thing to look at when you look at foreclosures is loan to value. Usually when people foreclose on their house, it's because the loan is greater than the value of the home. So you have a loan for 500,000, but you can only sell your house for 400,000, you're underwater. At that point, you just give the keys back to the bank, you walk away from it, it destroys your credit, it's a big deal and that's where, where foreclosures come from. The key indicator is loan to value. So in 2013, when we had a lot of foreclosures, the loan to value was very high. Most owners had less than 20% equity in their house. And today it's very different. 95% of owners have more than 20% equity in their home. Matter of fact, nine out of 10 have over 30% equity in their home. So comparatively to those two eras, right now our loan to value is very low, meaning that the chance of foreclosures is also low. In addition to that, there's very little HELOCs or home equity lines of credits. When you leverage your equity in your house to take out more debt, most owners currently have kept the equity equity in the home. So there's very little amount of HELOCs and cash out refis right now. Yay! So this means that even if the market does go down, say 20%, which would be massive to have a 20% dip in the value of homes, nine out of 10 owners have 30% equity. So they're not gonna give the keys back to the bank in that situation. They're not gonna foreclose. If they wanna sell, they can sell on the open market, but they're not gonna be in a dire situation where they're totally underwater on their loan. Also, during the foreclosure crisis of the Great Recession, we saw a lot of adjustable rate mortgages, which is where your rate was fixed for say one, two, three, three, four, five years, and then it adjusted up to a much higher and more unaffordable rate. One out of five loans was adjustable rate mortgage back in the foreclosure crisis of the Great Recession. And now 95% of the loans on the homes right now are 30 to 15 year fixed mortgages, meaning they're not going to adjust. This will create a very stable loan payment that is also very affordable as most of them are under 4%. So the foreclosure rate is most likely not going up. And lastly, right now, 98% of the loans are being paid on time. So the delinquency rate, the late payments on the loans are very, very low. It's another indicator that we are not gonna have a huge foreclosure crisis like we did in the Great Recession. So what does this mean for 2024? Well, it's gonna come down to supply and demand. A lot of people would love to see foreclosures go up because it's gonna increase the amount of supply. But I don't think that's gonna happen. I think because of all those reasons I just listed, foreclosures are gonna remain average or low comparative to the rest of history. So what this looks like is I think prices are gonna inch up just a little bit. One, two, three, four percent uh, here in California, Butte County. Um, that's what I predict is gonna happen. And the reason is because supply is gonna remain low, demand's gonna remain high. And even if interest rates stay at, in the sixes, uh, maybe high fives for the next year or so, it's going to cause home prices to steadily and slightly increase. So unfortunately, there will not be a huge glut. This is in my opinion, anything could happen. There won't be a huge supply of new houses hitting the market from foreclosures. That is just not gonna happen in 2024, uh, in my opinion. For more information on the real estate market, go ahead and click below, comment, like, subscribe. Thanks so much.